Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khaled Maidan. In this video, you're gonna see either myself or my colleague Phil taking you through a real-time assessment of a particular joint. Now, the reason we're doing this video is so you can get a really good appreciation for the order in which you can complete your test. It will make memorizing the actual assessment a lot easier and it will allow you to have more time to think about your findings when you're going through it with your patient. In these videos, you may not see as much detail about handling or positioning, but of course you can go through our individual videos, such as knee active range of movement or shoulder passive range of movement to get as much detail as you need. All right, so let's get into it. All right, we're now gonna go through our objective assessment of the cervical spine, and we're gonna start with observation. So I'm just gonna go through the assessment of your neck now. I'm just starting by having a look around the area. Okay. All right. I'm now gonna have a look at the movement of your neck. So if you can start by bringing your chin down towards the chest, please. Good. Does that feel okay? Good. Can you bring your head up to the ceiling? Excellent. I'm just gonna stand behind you. Okay, this time I'd like you to turn your neck round towards the right side for me. Thank you. And if you can rotate to the left side. Thank you, all okay? Good. Can you now take your right ear diagonally down towards the shoulder? Thank you. And the same on the other side. Thank you. And did that feel all okay? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, just having a look at your shoulder. Can you lift your left shoulder to start with up towards the ceiling? Good. All right. And the other side. Good. All okay there? Great. Just a note at this point for you guys at home, if you notice any issues with uh, your shoulder flexion clearing test and you want to explore it further, this would be a good time to go through abduction, external rotation and internal rotation as well. All right, I'm now going to have a look at the strength around your neck. So I'm just going to start by asking you to bring your chin down towards the chest against my hand. Good. And this time I'd like you to push me backwards. Excellent. I'm just coming to stand around the other side. Okay, from here, I'd like you to turn round towards the right side against my hand. Good. And then turn round towards the left against my hand. Thank you. This time, I'd like you to bring your ear down towards the shoulder diagonally on the right side. And the same on this side. Good. Did those movements all feel okay? Good. Can I ask you to now have a lie down on your back, please? Great. So here, I'm just going to go through the movements of your neck again, but I'd like you to completely relax. I'm going to do all the movements for you. All right, so we're just going to start by bring your chin towards the chest. Feels okay? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm now just going to bring your neck backwards and down. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Good. I'm now going to rotate round towards the right. Feels okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to go round towards the left. Excellent. I'm now bringing your ear towards the shoulder on this side. And the same on this side. Good. Does that feel all okay? Yeah. Great. Could I ask you to have a lie on your front, please? Okay. So from here, I'm just having a, a feel of different structures around the neck. Can you let me know if there's any pain around your neck and also if it creates any pain in your arms at all? Is that okay? All right. Just going to start at the top. All feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, just palpating some of the muscles here. Just let me know if it's okay. Everything all right? And yeah. uh, we'll double check this side as well. That's great. Would you mind having a sit up for me? and swing your legs around this way. I'm just gonna have a feel of a couple of things around the back of your neck in this position. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. How does that all feel? And that completes our real-time objective assessment. Once again, I hope that this video has given you a good understanding of the order in which you can complete your tests. If you want more information about the details of each specific test, check out our individual videos. For example, lumbar spine palpation or ankle resistive tests. Thank you so much for joining us once again on Clinical Physio, and we'll see you soon.